Hey guys, it's me Komosan, and I wanted to do a Q&A because I, we hit a thousand subscribers and I asked you guys to give me some questions to answer. So let's just go. I got some questions here. It's not a lot. There's some. So, so we got this post on TikTok named Ducky who said, what made you stop making videos? So I really wanted to make videos because of Markiplier, 8 Wine, and Daco. Those three are the main contributors to me becoming a YouTuber, to be honest. I really just wanted to make fun content and i really never played scary games so wouldn't it be fun to put my reaction on camera of me playing a scary game and like me getting jump scared or whatever and i thought that's a pretty cool idea so i decided to make content like eight months ago at first it wasn't doing well then i switched to persona content then i switched to fnaf content and i'm sticking with fnaf content because it actually gives me views and i enjoy it there is going to be times where there's no FNAF stuff going on, so I might have to play some random Polo games. So if that happens, please give me some ideas to play. Uh, I know there's some games out right now, but uh, people really want me to play Five Nights at Candy, so I'm going to do that next. Uh, if you guys watch it, I will continue to play it until we beat it. But yeah, uh, Markiplier, uh, 8 Bit Wine, and Darko are my big inspirations. I've been watching 8 Bit Wine since the beginning, uh, Markiplier since like 2013. So it's been a while, and Darko is recently, but I really love his content. So I started watching him like nonstop. Even though it's, it's a weird. It's, there's a, am I, what I got into FNAF video, I really, Darko thing is weird, okay? So if you are curious about, what happened with Darko and, and like how I watched Darko. Just watch that video and you guys, you'll find out what happened. So we got another gummy B he says, where are you from? So uh, I can't really say this question without me getting doxxed, but let's just say I live in America. Uh, but yeah, I live in America uh, and I am trans. So yep, trans femme, I'm a trans woman. Uh, I know I don't sound like a woman, I don't care because I'm not voice training for people because it's my decision if I want to do that or not. I shouldn't have to do it for other people, you know. My body, my choice, you know. But now we got my twin, Koichi Steels. If you guys did not know, I have a twin. Uh, she does her own things. Uh, well, she hasn't really made videos, uh, but she does her own things. You can follow her on TikTok and YouTube. But she says, congrats. Question, what are some of your other hobbies and favorite shows, movies, and video games and music? So, first hobbies, uh, if you guys do not know, I do love reading, uh, I read manga, I know that's like pretty generic for reading, I just don't like book books, just because they're kind of boring, uh, they describe too much in the story, and it's very annoying because I don't want to read a book with 15 pages describing like a wall or something, oh, and also I like wanting, I don't want a lot, but I do love wanting, uh, I'm not very an outside person, I'm kind of a sudden, just because, you know, my I'm a trans and stuff like that, and uh, being outside is, to be honest, pretty scary. But I do like wanting, I think I'm pretty fast. Uh, been in Instagram page tested it pretty well in high school with, uh, versus everybody else. Me and my twin were the only ones that were remaining, so I give myself props for that. Uh, not the best, is like 70 or something, but, uh, you know, that's still good for my, for being a 5 foot 3 person, you know. Uh, my favorite shows, so... If we're going off of cartoons, my favorite show is Adventure Time. I've watched this since the beginning, and I cannot watch the final episode without crying. So I really love Adventure Time, and it's honestly one of the special, most amazing TV shows you can ever watch in your entire life. It's so creative. It has so many great messages and the storytelling. It's such a wonderful show. Uh, anime, uh, Wandering Sun, and I love Wandering Sun. It's such a great uh, coming of age trans story. Uh, the manga is better, but the anime is still pretty good. Movies, one is you guys gonna hate me for, but my favorite movie is the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Uh, I know some people had complaints with Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but in my opinion, it was exactly what I wanted from the movie. I don't think people understood what FNAF the movie was gonna be about, because you just can't have a guy checking cans in Tao movie, because nobody would watch it. So I really like what scott did with this with the movie it's really awesome and my second favorite movie is fred the movie i know before you crucify me in the comments i just it's such a funny movie every time i watch it i laugh my butt off because it's so funny this kid is literally insane like you gotta know it's 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 just a silly movie and it's so funny maybe it's because of all the internet humor or something like that but it's just so funny seeing this kid go crazy and he's so stupid now to video games. Video games, uh, my favorite video game is Persona 3. Persona 3 FES to be exact. I haven't finished Reload. I did make a playthrough on the 
channel, but I stopped playing it because it wasn't fun. I wasn't having a fun time with it, and I like to play on my own pace. So that's always where I stopped playing Reload, but uh, FES is my favorite Persona game. Uh, second is SMT. SMT5 is such an amazing game. Uh, despite a lot of people not liking it, it is being re-released soon, and I can't wait to play it when I can play it. It's going to be such an amazing experience, and I love SMT5 as is, and they're improving upon the game. So it's just going to be an awesome game. I just maybe beat Persona 3, but I doubt it. Then we have Catherine Full Body. Catherine Full Body is a really big game that made me discover that I was pansexual. I'm not going to go too deep into it because, uh, you know, some people not going to like that. But it's it's a it's a really good story. There's some there's a lot of problems I have. Like each game, there's no such thing as a perfect game. Persona 3, there was some problems I had with it because there's transphobia and some other stuff. Uh, and same with a Catherine Full Body, there was some transphobia and some very bad decisions in my opinion. But I'm not gonna get too deep in it. But I really like Catherine Full Body. And my music, uh, I'm not very uh, much of a music listener. I really listen to like video game OSTs and stuff like that. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of new metal, but I really, really I stopped listening to that. But I really love uh, listening to video game OSTs like Neon White, uh, Celeste, Valhalla, basically indie game OSTs because they get so hard. And also like games like Persona, uh, SMT, Like a Dragon series, you know, those type of things. That's what music I like. Also Jungle Beats. I really like Jungle Beats, but. Thank you, Quit Steals, for asking me that question. So we got Liam Banfield. So I don't know what they they say. Uh, what's your favorite FNAF fan games? So this is gonna be hard actually because uh, I really haven't played much FNAF fan games. I know that's shocking because uh, you know FNAF YouTube went on, but I haven't played that much uh, fan games because I, I wanted to record them on camera. I did watch a lot of them, so I don't know. I can't really say what my favorite game is because I haven't played it for myself. There's so many fan games out there anyway, so maybe maybe one day I can answer this question, but right now I can't because I ha barely played any. And now we have Bell Bell uh, 01, so I can't say y'alls if you guys did not know that. I can't say y'alls. They say, who's your favorite animatronic and why? So I have three favorite animatronics. I did make a YouTube short about it, but my three favorite animatronics are Funtime Foxy, Lulbit, and Roxanne Wolf. So uh, my profile picture is Lulbit, the redesign from... Uh, the click click team teasel but my favorite animatronic is roxy and i just love the character i love roxy so much i love the design i love the personality she has and she's probably the mis most misunderstood character on security weights and i can't wait for one day maybe one day when someone can draw me a profile picture or something like that i would use it of course because i'm not really happy about using a blender thing as my profile picture because it doesn't really look the best but I, I'm using a little bit as of right now, but maybe in the future that could be changed to Roxy with like someone drawing it for me. But that is all the questions I have. Thank you guys for asking me these questions. It, it really helped me out. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Next video will probably be uh, some Five Nights at Freddy's uh, one week cap videos and uh, Five Nights at Candy. Uh, Five Nights at Candy. So I'll see you guys later and goodbye.